start with the New York Knickerbockers. Tonight, mm. they are in Charlotte, okay? And the big story here with the Knicks is their starting lineup. They are the most used five-man group in the entire NBA. That's what Tibbs does. They're also the worst five-man group in the entire NBA. Tibbs the other day called it BS, a little more colorful language than that, though, mm -hmm. that, that suggesting this team does not need any more time to gel. They should be getting it now. Here's the data. You looked at the starters against the Bucks, only scoring 32 total points, but it's worse than that. The starting lineup has been outscored by nearly 14 and a half points per game when they're on the court. And their defensive rating, which has been a Tibbs trademark, is worse than the NBA. The starting five defensive rating is giving up 119 points per 100 possessions. So there's been a lot of conversation. Should Kemba Walker leave the starting lineup? Should they insert Derrick Rose? When Derrick Rose plays, the Knicks are significantly better so far. But Tibbs not shaking it up for tonight's game against the Hornets. The same five-man group of Walker and Fournier, the new Knicks in that backcourt, with R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. No Nerlens Noel, yet again, he's got an injury. So let's talk about it here with B. Wood and Dennis Scott. The Knicks have high expectations after their surprising run last year to the NBA playoffs. Does Tibbs need to make a change? I'm not sure if he needs to make a change because I really like Derrick Rose in his role of coming off the bench and providing that energy and that burst. Um, I think th do these guys need to play better, especially on the defensive end. Yes, this team made it to the playoffs last year because of defense, and now things have s suddenly gone awry. And from uh, yeah, in the studio, it's going yeah, awry yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be a professional. The, the turnover. Yeah. Things are collapsing. Yeah, you got to be collapsing professional. Even us. when there's distractions all around, you got to focus, and that's what Tibbs needs his New York Knicks uh, starting lineup to do: is focus on the defensive end of the court. They have to get back to playing the defense that they played last year. Maybe not quite as stifling, but just because they're better offensively and they're shooting more threes, that doesn't mean the defense can go out the window. To win games, you do need defense in this league, and they have to get back to that, and I'm sure Tibbs will get them back to that identity. But but let me ask you, you bring in Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier, not not for their defense, and you plug them <clears throat> right away into that starting lineup. What did you expect? Right, you, you expect a better offense. You knew the defense would slip some to your question, Jared. With that being said, you have to go back to Fournier and those guys and say, look, we know we brought you in to score. We, you got to give us some more effort on the off, on defensive end of the floor. And on the flip side, that be would do you go? Is it a mismatch of bigs with the smalls? Like when Derrick Rose comes in, we know he likes to attack the defense and shoot the three ball a little bit better. But then now when Taj Gibson's on the floor, you know your defense is going to be better. Uh -huh. So I think that's an overall. How does Tibbs find that right matchup? I don't care who starts, B. Wood. Who's at five on the court when it's time to win ball games late in the game? There's been a couple games where late in the game, they had the wrong matchup on the floor and they blew the ball game. Well, let me, let me just pose this and throw this out at you, too, which has been a problem for the Knicks. They've gotten themselves into some deep holes in some of these games. Yes. And, yes, they've come back in a couple of them. Yes. So I understand your point about mm -hmm. closing games, mm -hmm. but you can't always dig yourself a hole to start. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah, you definitely can't dig yourself a hole to start. So. We all know the end of the game is very important, but how you start is important too. You don't want to keep being forced to come from behind, digging yourself holes to get out of, because it takes a lot of energy on some nights, depending on how big the hole is, for you to get out of there. So I'm not sure if they need to shake up the starting lineup just yet, because even if you bring Derrick Rose, and Derrick Rose isn't known for his defense. Right. Derrick Rose brings offense to this team, so they're going to have to get it done no matter what with the, def with the guys they have from a defensive standpoint, because we know Kimba and Rose are going to be a part of that rotation along with Fournier, and they're going to have to figure out a way how do we get the most out of these guys from a defensive standpoint. Right now, you're 7-5 and five to your question, Jared. If you're unhappy now at the sixth seed, and we know the season, the set schedule gets a little you know, sketchy uh, December and January yep. with the travel, right? I say try to fix it now versus later because when the schedule gets harder, less practice time, how do you get, get team chemistry in January and February playoff? I mean, uh, all-star breaks right around the corner. and all